I have heard a question similar to this numerous times over my life. Someone will say, hey Roger, do you know Joe from Montana? Or do you know Betty from New Jersey? And when I reply, no, I'm not familiar with them, they say, oh Roger, you must know them. They've got a physical challenge. They're missing an arm or missing a leg or in a wheelchair. I guess they think that everybody who's physically challenged goes to the same party. Somehow we're connected in some way. So recently, my wife and I were on a flight going to beautiful Hawaii. I was fortunate to have a speaking engagement there. As we got on the plane, I noticed a couple of people that looked very familiar. One was former Major League Baseball player Nolan Ryan. I also recognized someone named Mark Langston. And then I saw someone that I had admired for many, many years, Jim Abbott. Now you may remember Jim. He was an All-American pitcher at the University of Michigan. He went on to pitch in the major leagues, actually pitched a no-hitter for the New York Yankees against my beloved Cleveland Indians. Now granted, those accomplishments are quite impressive, but what makes it amazing is when you learn that Jim Abbott was born with only one hand. You see, he would pitch the ball with his left hand, then what he would do is quickly change the glove from under his arm to his left hand, so then he could feel the ball if it was hit back to him. He's a tremendous inspiration to me, and I was so excited to spend some time talking with him. So it was a non-stop flight with non-stop conversation. I could tell my wife had had enough when she ringed the flight attendant call button and she said, I'd like a Diet Coke and a parachute, please. So during this conversation, I said to Jim Abbott, I am so incredibly inspired by what you've accomplished in your life. What is your philosophy for success? What he said, I will never forget. He said, Roger, just because you do something differently doesn't mean that you can't do it better. Wow, isn't that an incredibly important principle for our lives today? I was speaking for a company not too long ago and the MC said, we are going to reveal our 10-year plan. I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm thinking we're going to have to have, we're going to have PowerPoint after PowerPoint. But you know, there were only three words, better, faster, and different. See, what Jim Abbott reminded me of today was that we must be creative as well as innovative. Now, being creative means we do something different. Being innovative means we do something better. Here's my point. I think today we've got to break that mindset of believing that there's only one way to be successful. There's only one way to achieve. What Jim Abbott taught me was with creativity and with innovation, great possibilities emerge no matter what the circumstances. The good news is, no matter who you are, no matter what you do, you have the ability to be creative and innovative. It begins with that awareness of changing our mindset. Be well, my friends.